How many GeoGuessr videos have I watched on YouTube.com? The limit does not exist. I love these videos so much. And so today I'm officially becoming a gamer, but I wanted to put a bookish spin on it. I want to see if I can guess the location based entirely on a bookstore. For those of you who, like Patrick Starr, have been living under a rock, GeoGuessr is basically a game that we used to play at school all the time, <laughs> like when we would definitely should have been learning things, where you're basically put in a random place on Google Maps, and you basically have to look around and then plot where you think you are on a map. And I'm gonna try and do that using only bookstores. Before I do that, a massive shout out to Kayla from Books and Lala, who is the inspiration behind this video. She came up with this concept, and she is also the backbone of the booktube community, so thanks, we appreciate you. And I'm excited to play some GeoGuessr, it is a great website. And speaking of great websites, I am absolutely buzzing to let you know that today's video is very kindly brought to you by Squarespace. It is the platform to go to when you want to build a snazzy website for yourself. It can help you to run a business and build an online presence, and actually, this is a very personal thing to me because that's the whole reason I have a career. When I was 14, I wrote to my local paper and I was like, hey, can I write for your paper? And they were like, no. <laughs> so in the email, when they said no, um, the journalist, I guess, also said to me, we would recommend that you build your own platform or like a blog or something. And I couldn't find the right platform that felt really customized and unique to me until I built my own website. And I loved being able to create my own platform that felt completely authentic to me. And it did everything that I wanted it to do and all of the buttons were in exactly the place that I wanted them. And it's really cool to make something super personalized and bespoke. And so I built my website and then I started writing on there, built up a bit of an audience, which led to my YouTube channel, which led to my second channel. And here we are today, like, seven years later. No, nine years later. No, yeah, oh, scary. Who needs horror movies when you can think about time? <laughs> time passing, terrifying. Anyway, I miss running a website like that. And so I am going to be using Squarespace to create a new customized website. I'm gonna take you on this journey over the next couple of months on this channel and on my main channel as well and showing you my developments and the process of creating this website. I'm so excited about it. So why Squarespace specifically? Firstly, because they have a feature to create a members area and I'd love to make a sort of book club or something like that where you can access exclusive content. There's also a blogging feature, which is really easy to use. And I like that I could kind of share little updates and they have great analytics features, which basically means that I can see what you guys are really engaging with and interacting with and make more of the content that you actually want to see. So if that also sounds like something that you would be looking for, then I have a little deal for you. Firstly, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, you can head to squarespace.com slash Jack in the books. And there you can get 10% off your first purchase of your website or domain. Having a custom domain is so important for SEO. I still get so many opportunities just because of doing that like way back when. And I'm excited to build a new website and bring you on this journey. So watch this space. And a massive shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Link is down below. I am trying to work out how to record my screen. I should definitely know how to do that by now, but I don't. So let's see. Okay, we're gonna try incredible bookstores. Single player, I've got no friends. Thank you. That's why I'm looking at bookstores on the internet. Okay. What are you? This is really nice. This looks like a converted, oh, it's a converted stage. Or well, like theater, that is really cool. Oh, the ceiling. I love a painted ceiling more than anything. No, I, pro I probably couldn't do it in my own room, but I really very much appreciate when other people have this. I loved the Palace of Versailles for that reason, because the painted ceilings were brilliant. This one is giving Minimalism. I don't know whether this is finished. <laughs> this is probably like some incredible artist that took years and years and years and is centuries old. Now is me being like, is it is it done? The disrespect, honestly. Um, I like it though. The ceiling is very ornate. That's not the point. Can we get some clues? Maybe if we zoom in on these books, <gasps> that could be a clue. Is it Argentina? But then. Places other than Argentina <laughs> have books on Argentina. These books all look really boring. Oh, it would be good to be able to read. Aha! Right, so that is not English. That also says Argentina right there. Do these books have Spanish titles? Siempre is Spanish. I feel like that Tom Holland meme where he's like, I understand Spanish to a certain level. 
Hmm. This does look like Spanish to me. Oh, did I ignore that before? Can I, I wanna move around a bit more. I feel like we need to explore a little bit. So I'm seeing escalators moving down to a movie theater. What does that tell us? Absolutely sod all. See you, escalator. See, these are making me think like Italy or Greece, but I'm sure that's Spanish. I don't know any Italian. Tell me where you are. Literatura Argentina. Hmm. How many countries would have a specific section on Argentinian literature? Because like, if, this bookstore is not that big. Classicos, novellas, I think this is Argentina. Guys, I guess that <laughs> the first 20 seconds and now seven minutes later, I'm finally gonna click on it. This is what it's like being terrible at decision making. Okay, Argentina is at the bottom of South America, but where is... Buenos Aires. Ah, oh, it's there. Okay, I'm gonna guess that it's in Buenos Aires. I can't look. I don't wanna look. No way. What the heck? Maybe I'm not that bad at this after all. This has given me <laughs> full sense of security. Ooh. I feel like I'm in an episode of Euphoria. What is going on? Whoa. That's cool. I'm spinning around. Love these steps. Uh, my compliments to the chef. Can we move around or do we just have to stay right here? <gasps> Ooh. Guys, I love this. Okay, focus. Eyes on the prize. Um, is this making anyone else quite dizzy? What does that say there? My eyesight's so terrible. <laughs> oh, I forgot that you could just zoom in. <laughs> a cathedral de Cleur. <gasps> this is in a cathedral? If I visited this place, I would be cathedraling. Cause that is stunning. Okay, that didn't tell me much. This at the top might though. Hmm. Talina. No, well, that doesn't tell me anything either. I'm struggling. I, that says whiskey. Could spot that anywhere at least. Okay, let's have a look at these books. IRS 2011. Dictionario. Encyclopedia of Networking. Tricky. I've met my match. Really and truly. Can I move around? I can move around more. Ooh. Okay, so thoughts are that these, the words that I've seen, I don't think they're Spanish, but they're similar. Um, aha, what are you? Tour guides. And these ones are all to Braga, which I'm pretty sure is in Portugal. Oh, let's go France, but everything else is not in French, so. <gasps> oh, all of these ones are for Portugal. I think we might be in Portugal because it looks like Spanish, but it's, I don't think it is. Okay, let's give... Portugal ago. That's for Lisbon, so Should we go Lisbon? Or oh, oh that thing said Braga before and there were a lot of them. Okay, if I can find that Braga place on here then I'll Ah There it is. I'm gonna guess it and see what <gasps> No Porto But Braga is really close. Not to Braga But I am chuffed with that. Play next round. Bring it on. I'm feeling pretty unstoppable. And say, oh, Shakespeare and Company, that's in Paris. I used to live, I used to live opposite this. Oh my God, I, I can get this exactly on. I can get this spot on. Oh, do you know what? My ego is not gonna fit through that door in a minute because I can get this. <laughs> exact. So I used to live here right next to Notre Dame. Um, and then I would walk across this bridge, walk down here to Shakespeare and Company, the most beautiful bookstore. I'm buzzing. Spot on. Yes. It, it does help <laughs> when you used to live opposite it, but it's the most amazing bookstore. I can't believe that. I can't believe that one just came up. 5,000 points, 5,000 smackaroonies. Okay. Humbling. This is a humbling experience. Where the hell are we? Nice bookstore though. Um, it's got a little cafe inside. This, this is not très bien. This is not super, not anymore. Where are we? Wow, look at that. That is really cool. You know, the tour guides have really been doing bits for me, so what's this? Oh, that's not a map, that's actually someone's face. <laughs> I thought that was a map from far away. Interesting, okay, T.S. Eliot, Stalin. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the link is between Stalin and T.S. Eliot, but Okay. Ooh, 20% off sale. Anyone see anything they fancy? <laughs> Ooh, I like the plants. They would be dead in five minutes if I was in charge of those. Wow, that is really cool. <gasps> ah, Latin American cinema. 
Okay, and the section is huge, and I can't see anything else. Oh shit, what's that? Oh, that's Cinema North America. Damn, I thought we were onto something there. And then that's European cinema. Okay, so I'm still feeling like the Latin American section is quite big. But is that just perspective? I don't know, guys. Can we go through here? Oh, we, I've, I've broken out. Okay, this is as far as we can go, but street signs? Anything? Um, go girl, give us nothing. Wow, the entrance is just that. And then there's this coffee shop. Uh, what, what, does, what do you say? Hmm. Okay. I personally am of the opinion that all coffee shops should have a big sign outside that says, this is Brazil. <laughs> Actually, Brazil could be a shout. This could be Brazil. But this is not giving what needs to be gave. Now that's Spanish. So I do think that we are in South America. Okay, I'm going back in. <gasps> Notice board. Brilliant. Ooh, two for one mojitos. I don't even like mojitos, what am I on about? Guys, I hope you're playing along at home. Have, if you've got it, and you're screaming at the screen right now, I am so sorry. La Rona. Very seasonal, very topical. Let's get away from that. Okay, more signs. Definitely Spanish, but I am out of my depth here. Guys, I think I'm just gonna have to do a rogue guess, because I really... I'm getting nothing here. Um, we're not allowed to smoke, they do have Wi-Fi. Right, pull up that map. I think we're gonna go. Um, okay, I've, I've done Argentina. Surely there won't be multiple in Argentina. Could be Mexico. Do you know what, I'm gonna go with Colombia. If you ask me to justify that, I can't. <laughs> because I just picked it because it was in the middle. Let's see. Mexico! Mexico City. Hmm. Nuts. Okay, I'll take the L on that one because we pulled an absolute blinder with <laughs> the one in Paris. Now, where are we here? I think that's Amsterdam. Just looking there, those buildings look like Amsterdam. The, the more I'm thinking about it, the less I agree with what I just said. Now, that language, I do not know. I'm not sure if like that is where the canal is, or if I'm just completely on the wrong track. That doesn't look like the canal. Okay, instead of doing that, let's look inside the store. No way, that right there is a sign for the book I'm currently reading. The illicit happiness of other people. <laughs> what a weird coincidence. Well, anyway, that doesn't really tell us anything, but it, what, that was a pretty cool coincidence. What does this say? Rijksmuseum. That is in Amsterdam. I've been there. Okay. I think this is Amsterdam. I'm not getting much else, aside from <laughs> concrete. I'm gonna go with Amsterdam. Um, that poster for the Rijksmuseum has sort of solidified this in my brain. My strategy is generally, if we, if we click it from quite far away, hopefully it'll be <laughs> accurate, let's see. What should be Australia? A new badge? I'm collecting badges like a freaking Cub Scout. Oh, you know what? I was not far off. That is pretty good going. Okay. I actually think that was a solid performance and I'm <laughs> quite chuffed with myself, not gonna lie. Game breakdown. I nearly had several of those. <laughs> yeah, really let the side down in round four because other than that, I was pretty consistent. Cool. Well, that was my GeoGuessr experience. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful day. If you're new here, you can subscribe to this channel and my main one. Um, give this video a like if you liked it and I will catch you next time. Bye bye and check out Squarespace down below. Bye!